What's up guys? It's Mo. I feel like the lighting is kind of off because there is a, if you watch my planner, office planner desk tour thing, there's a window over on this side, um, like a door and it doesn't have a curtain on it. So I feel like there's a lot more light coming in on this side. Um, but so I hope it's not lit real weird for you guys to see. Today's video is a different video because we're not talking about happy planners. If you remember way back in the way back of the way back of my channel, I used to do <laughs> like no white space, Erin Condren style spreads. And I also used to do memory planning in what is now called like an A5 wide insert. Um, prior to that, it was just like a seemingly Erin Condren esque insert. Like it didn't have a name. People didn't really, people were selling them, but it wasn't, it wasn't considered like A5 wide. I feel like it wasn't as popular as it is. The A5 wide wasn't as popular as it is now. And I started doing memory planning um, in these inserts that I made because I didn't know if I wanted to buy an EC and actually do it. And then I bought an EC and then I didn't do it and now I'm back into doing it. So today, <laughs> long story short, I kind of want to share with you what I'm doing for memory planning in 2020. I got, um, since being at home um, during the whole quarantine thing, I got inspired and started watching again like the OG planner peeps like Scribble Prince Co. Scribble Prince Co. I can't remember any other people that I used to watch way back in the way back, but I mean, seriously, it was like Scribble Prince Co. was life way back then. And so I started watching some of her videos. I think it's what Kristen Michelle, who works for uh, Andrea of Scribble Prince Co. I started watching her, started watching Glam Planner again, um, started watching, I think it's Tattooed Teacher Plans, In Kiara's Planner, Plan Most Plan um planning like a pro like I just started falling down the rabbit hole of people who are doing sort of a5 wide Aaron Condren style um planning if that makes sense so this is my planner this is a hello forever oh and the purpose of this video is to show you um the supplies my sticker storage and like kind of how I'm memory planning this year so um, this is, we can jump into, I guess, supplies. This is my Hello Forever uh, planner. It was released, I think it's like Hello Forever by Studio Calico or something like that. Um, these, you can't get these anymore. They were super expensive for a not a great quality, but there were four of them released. I have all four of them. Um, I have seen them on like Mercari and what's that other one? It's not Depop, but there's like another selling platform where, I don't know, I see ads for it all the time on Instagram where people are um, selling Happy Planner stuff. Um, all I can think of is Mercari right now. So you can find these, you can, I found one. These were like 40 some odd bucks when I first bought them and I saw one on Mercari for 15 bucks and that's probably how they should have been sold in the beginning. So, and I also have a video on, if you wanna know the best planners, the best binders to house your A5 wide um, or Aaron, like punched in Aaron Condren style inserts. So um, it has a little strap like this and I've just been, you know, doing the OG setup of your uh, planner pockets here. This has like a polka dotted inside and I really like it. And then I have these sort of A5, like classic Aaron Condren style. I'm also waiting for something to be delivered. Classic Aaron Condren style um inserts i made them i'm probably gonna put these up they're not perfect i'm probably gonna put these up for free on my blog when this video goes out um they're not perfect but they're totally usable i mean i'm obviously i'm using them this bottom wash or bottom side here is slightly wider than like bottom washy you can see a little bit like i'm hoping i can hold this up to the camera where it's um too short for bottom washing my there we go my uh what do you call that monitor is lagging but it's kind of too short here for bottom washing but if you just line it up on the edge right here it's fine i also have some of these um pocket pages some of these are from webster's pages which they are no longer doing apparently these um pocket pages but you can find them on this is like blowing out 
my lighting. You can find them on Amazon still. Um, so if you wanna get those pocket, page, pocket pages, you can. I don't know, I am assuming Simple Stories is still doing pocket pages because some of these are Simple Stories and I just uh, punched extra holes in them and the, the pre-punched hole fits perfectly and then I just punched four more holes. Also, if you wanna store your memory planner inserts, you can totally do it in like a six by eight ringed album. That's how I have my old planners stored when I used to do this. And then, um, so I just have a, I haven't, and the reason these aren't filled or in where they go is because I haven't decided if I am, if I am going to do pictures in this or just spreads. And then I have a pocket with the like stickers I'm using for the current week. So. That's kind of the setup for that. The pens that I'm using are these U Brands pens. I got these ages ago. I got some of these two here. You can find them at Target. Um, I may switch out this pen because I, I don't know, I have the black one in here, but these are like some summertime colored ones. I got those at Target ages ago. And then I was at Target a while ago, uh, or recently actually, and I found the U Brand felt tip pens. Same thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, same thing. These just have like that, they call it soft touch. If you know, if you know like NARS packaging, you know how that you, how that feels? That's kind of like that. I don't know what that's called. Um, so there's that. That's the pins I'm using. Then, like every other planner girl, I have gotten into foiled stuff. So I have this stuff from Rose Colored Days. I have some bow overlay boxes in silver and gold. I'm trying to get some confetti ones. I did purchase a really cheap... Um, laser printer uh, the other day to try foiling my own stickers. So wait for a tutorial on that, I guess. So these are um, header overlays in gold and silver, like confetti. And then I have some, this isn't even open yet. This is like uh, days of the week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. cetera, in um, gold overlay. And what this is, is just like a roll of cello tape, like just a roll of tape um, that has been foiled with designs on it and it's perforated at every one and a half inches. So this is, I don't know, the size of your like date covers and it's perforated every one and a half inches so you can pull off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Same with these perforated every one and a half inches and the same with these. These are the size of an Erin Condren box and it's perforated every one and a half inches. So that is that. That's what I'm using for memory planning this year in 2020. So let's move on to my sticker storage. I have not purchased any physical kits. I am only printing out and cutting my kits because I'm not spending a thousand million dollars on this. And <laughs> because I'm like, I don't even really know if I'm going to keep this up. This has been a hobby, you know, while I've been home. Um, something to get creative because I was planning so far ahead in my uh, happy planner and I was like I need another outlet to be creative. So I have found a ton of sales online um, and a ton of Facebook groups to get free like cute stickers from. Um, so let's go into my let's go let's just I'm just gonna bring this over here. So this is the sticker storage thing that I'm using. Like I said, I am not, I'm not buying physical kits. I'm printing and cutting them. And most of the time I'm buying them on sale. Um, unless it's like something specific, I'm trying not to pay more than two to $3. I'm trying to keep it on the $2 side, two to $3 for any of these kits. When people have 40% off sales, you can get these kits for the, the most expensive for good, like quality kits and by kits, I mean, they're already kind of, you know, laid out to when you cut them, they cut them out into actual nice looking kits. Um, you can get them for as cheap as four and a half dollars. I mean, that's not expensive. I'm just trying to not spend four and a half dollars on kits. So what I have first off is this little binder, I guess you would call it thing. Um, these are Pot, half size pocket pages that a lot of people use to st uh, store their stickers in. And when I, when we moved, I got rid of a ton. I got rid of all my half size binders. I got rid of all the like stickers, most of these type of stickers that I didn't use anymore. I just got rid of them. 
And now I'm going back to the, this is why if you're a crafty person, if you're a planner person, just don't get rid of anything. Don't hoard it because literally you're going to circle right back to it and you're going to be mad that you got rid of it. So I got rid of all my half size binders. So I have these little binder rings. I think I may have gotten these at Hobby Lobby a long, long, long time ago. I'm sure you can, I'll try and link some like on Amazon down below. Um, but I'm sure you can find them at Michael's. They're just little like rings and they came in a pack of an assortment of um sizes i also people also use them bigger sizes to put washi on etc so i got these page protectors the brand that i got i would not recommend um it is i have the packaging right here it is this brand they bust at the bottom so i've had to tape a few of them um but yeah don't get these i also thought because it said they were punched like seven punches or something like that. Yeah, I thought that this would fit in my six ring binder that I'm storing like my character stickers in. It doesn't, so that's why I have this, which I actually don't mind now, because now once I use a kit, these are kind of laid out in the order that I'm gonna use them. Um, I, I'm gonna finish January today, hopefully, and then I'm partway through February, et cetera. I'm hoping to catch up. So once I finish a like a kit, I just flip it around to the back the, the sleeve and then I have my next kit out. Once I finish this one, I'll flip it to the back and have an empty sleeve and have my next kit. So um, that is that. I have the um, shops that I really like are Sincerely D Designs, Planning Choco, Print Choco, 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 Print Petticoat Bandit. This is says Sab's Planner Prints, but I think it's White Rose, White Rose, Pl White Rose Printables now. Um, print Petticoat Bandit, Print Petticoat Bandit, Planning Chaco. Um, uh, there's another one I don't, yeah, White Rose Printables. There's another one I don't think I've purchased anything because they haven't had a sale. Um, uh, Planning Pixie Co. or Planner Pixie Co. or something. They have nicely looking kits or nicely designed, nice kits that look nice um but they haven't had a sale so i haven't purchased anything um but yeah so i mean and these i i paid like two to three dollars for these kits and they're really hefty like deluxe kits there's like seven to ten pages um of stuff and then the print petticoat bandit ones let's see if this one come with some of them most of these also come like foil ready so i could have done overlays and stuff but the print petticoat bandit ones come with like character stickers in different hair colors and skin tones and stuff um so yeah this is a at least seven page kit let's see here yeah this is like at least a seven page kit so there's that um but yeah so that's how I have my kits stored in there. And then I think this is going to not pick up well on camera because it's so day gum bright. But I have my like character stickers in my A5 floral pink Filofax. That is my baby. I could never get rid of this. I have a personal size too. I almost, 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 almost. I might do it. I don't know. I'm thinking I might go to personal size inserts. I'm thinking I might go to an A5. I don't know. I like my happy planner, but anytime that I say I'm completely satisfied with a planning system, I change something. So A5 floral file effects. Oh, this one, the Taco Bell um, printable. I probably used all the full boxes, so you're not going to be able to see them. But this like Taco Bell one, I love this printable. And that was from White Rose Planners as well. So that's just in there. I have a couple other like piles of things because I will take them and put them in this, which we'll talk about in a minute. But um, whenever I get done, like with a kit, if I think I'm gonna use stuff, I go and put it in here, but we'll talk about that in a second. So that's why that is in here. In the pin loop, I have my tweezers. These are from when I was doing Origami Owl. They're not as precise as they could be, but they do go to a pretty um, fine point, not as fine as it could be, but, and I like that it has little grippies. Um, and I like that they're kind of weighty. So I keep that in my pin loop here. I have this. This is one from, I was actually looking for Design C pocket pages from Webster's Pages. But since they discontinued making these, these are the ones that are completely sold out. I was looking for these 
to store my stickers like this but to store them in an A5 binder. So, but I can't find, I have two of these and it's this one that holds my like date covers or my monthly things from the Happy Planner and then the one in the back of my actual um, memory planner to hold my current week stick or yeah, current week's stickers. So I have one Design C guy in here, page protector in here that holds the date um, or I guess the monthly covers or whatever and these are also super old you can see this is 2017 and 2018 on it so this is just what I use to mark the months in my planner then we get into these are design B and I don't remember the width and height I think it's like it's four by four maybe three it's not three by four because it's bigger than three by four but they are like really tiny stickers that are awesome so these are my character stickers i don't have many too many really like coffee monsters co or anything like that because i don't purchase or i hadn't purchased they don't do printables and i'm not purchasing um physical kits i'm not purchasing it so i have labeled them with happy planner colorful boxes stickers i don't really use these silver ones so i use those to label um i have baby this is from paper shire the paper shire facebook group um she posts a ton of digitals you can make um like free stickers from so paper shire these are from print petticoat bandit these little cuddle guys it says family time work also from paper shire self-care from and i mean there's a bunch of different ones like behind here like a bunch of different stuff i've made my own scripts for things this says work on it so there's that and then I have a section for self-care these are from some of these are from print petticoat bandit I made this relax one these are from paper shire so I have made a bunch of scripts and I made them in silhouette studio but because y'all know I try and take care of y'all that use a Cricut I have a tutorial on how to create script stickers with your Cricut um, I forget where I got these from, but yeah, I mean, these are just like my character kind of, kind of stickers, but I do have a tutorial on how to make script stickers with your Cricut, um, using Pixlr. And I've also got one, it's either out or it's coming out. I've got a couple coming out about making stickers on your phone and uploading them to Cricut design space app and then printing and cutting them with your Cricut. I mean, I'm stoked guys for these to share with you guys. So I got those self care ones, um, coffee, planning, cooking. Let's see. What do I else do I, I think both of these are a paper shire for these, um, quarantine. So I have some stickers for the quarantine here. So these are from paper shire freebies. These are print petticoat bandits, like a girl sneezing. I don't know if you can see these wash your hands online class i'm not going to use that but it came with it work out work out from home um oh i have a tutorial on making glitter headers i don't know why these are in quarantine section but making glitter headers to cut with your cricut uh this is from the coffee monsters co facebook group that she posted freebies and i made stickers out of them another like covid type of one uh quarantine day and then i use these it says hi how are you um for like video chatting with family and stuff so that's my quarantine section and then and they're not in alphabetical order i just kind of put them how i wanted to movie and tv um blog and youtube sleep household stuff these are from i love to print and they're just kind of like emoji guys and they're slightly too big so i'm thinking i'm gonna chop this off so they'll fit i thought they were the right size but they weren't um and then here's some scripts these are scripts i made yeah this is one that i made on my phone yeah on my phone and imported it into did i do it on my phone pretty sure i did it on my phone imported it into cricut design space and then print and cut it um with my cricut and it just says important so that is how I store, I guess, my scripts and my character stickers and extra kits and stuff that go in these maybe pockets or whatever. Um, man, I love this binder. I love my, I love my floral pink. So character stickers is down and scripts is down. And then I have this guy here. So this is my like leftover kits stuff let's see if i can zoom in a little bit there my yeah okay there we go um i got these sticker pages just plain unpunched i had to punch them on 
Amazon. The listing that I bought these from doesn't exist anymore. Now I think it's a more expensive listing, but you're getting like eight and a half by 11 pages instead of, I think I got like a hundred of these small already cut down pages for like $17.99. And now I think you're getting, I don't know, less pages, but I guess also more surface area. You can cut them the way you want maybe um, for maybe 25 bucks. I don't, I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. I'll leave it linked down below for you, but I just go through, I'll go through my kits and I'll use my tweezers and I will take off the stickers. I think I'm going to use and we'll put them in this little reusable sticker sheet. But yeah, this is like a, what well, I guess I didn't say this. These are reusable stick like for sticker albums for sticker collecting because that's what we are um you know and you just put the sticker and then you can peel it back up and put it down on your wherever you want to put it so i just have these kind of categorized out here and then once we get to the back 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 i guess i skipped a page um i have boxes and stuff that i may use uh, oh, I guess I can tell you the sticker paper. I'll tell you the sticker paper too. So, um, but a bit of boxes and stuff that I might use if I'm like, oh, this is a purple kid and I don't have enough, I don't know, these things, then I'll go here and I'll look or maybe I need some washi or something. Um, so that's what I have. These are like deco pieces. This is from a baby kit. I ended up doing a baby kit, like a welcome baby kit. Um, last week, no week before last, because I was like, Marcus is not a baby anymore. I, I am so sad. <laughs> he is growing up so fast. So I just have those. I punched them with my happy planner punch. And my goal originally using this stuff was to do this, but for like the happy planner. So I would put together, maybe I'd pull stickers and put together a spread. This is so old. Like this is back when Marcus was like still in my tummy, but, um, and put together spreads and stuff. But then I realized I didn't like it because I have extra stickers in here and I forget they're in here. This is me making, um, I think it was the Maven uh, Grimoire page um, that I did. It was, I didn't film it. I was just doing it last year. And then this is like, I was pulling stuff for St. Patrick's Day and apparently Easter. And see, I'm gonna forget that this is in here. So I don't think I'm gonna do that for my Happy Planner stuff. Let me show you the sticker paper I recommend. Okay, so there are these are my top two. I have the one at the bottom, you know, I have three that I'm going to recommend to you. These are my top two. The one at the bottom is completely sufficient and much, much more affordable. I mean, these are pretty affordable too. Um, but the, the paper isn't as white as these two. So I don't know it, but it's really thin. It peels up easily. If you make a mistake, I use it when I print my happy planner kits and I used it forever and it's what I recommended forever. And then I found these two from other people recommending stuff. So first one online labels. This is the weather weatherproof mat for inkjet printers. This is awesome. The like quality. I don't even know if I have any more that were, Oh, this one was, I think. Yeah, I think this one was, it's just, it absorbs the ink like so well and creates such a beautiful print that, I mean, it's just, I, I love it. And literally it's waterproof. I had a date sticker on my hand um, that I wasn't using or something and it, it stuck there. It's stuck there for a while. Um, you, these aren't the, the waterproof mat. You cannot, you'll need like undo or something, which I don't have and I've never used. Um, but I had it stuck to my hand and it just, it stayed there. And then I gave Marcus a bath. So while I'm washing him and have my hands in the water, it didn't bleed or anything. So, I mean, I think you could even make these as for stickers or use this for your inkjet and make stickers for like um, water bottles and stuff or your computer or something. I don't even know. But these are, um, it's a hundred labels for like $64, which if you want like mwah quality, like chef's kiss, you should get these. I bought these, I bought these for one sticker that Zach wanted made 
like two years ago and he was like I need it to be weatherproof it's on a something in his office that's never going to be outside and get wet at all but I was like okay well they make these let's try them so I bought them and I had them forever and I don't know why I was like hesitant to use them but I was and then I was like let's use them and then I used them all up because it was so so great I love online labels it's my top one I'm only gonna purchase this though if I hit the lottery um especially in this time next one this one is the most or not the most affordable one but significantly more affordable than the online labels and this is the pack packs on um white mat for laser and inkjet so this is what i'm going to use to try and foil as well um but it's pretty bright white it doesn't have a back slit but it has the other ones on the labels had a back slit but it has like this little guy so you know which is the front and which is the back the sticker paper doesn't go all the way to the edge which doesn't interfere with printing and cutting stuff it doesn't um i have used this on both my cricut and my silhouette so it's completely fine these i think are like it's 100 100 labels 100 sheets for eight and a half by 11 sheets um for 15 ish dollars perfect uh crisp nice prints this one is one that was printed with it um great quality i can't get this in the frame great quality i love the way it absorbs the ink it looks great the the um paper is white it cuts like butter on your machines it's just amazing i love it it feels thick it feels nice it feels luxe i love it um 15 on amazon the last one i don't have the packaging for but it's the one i recommend all the time it's called um yens y-e-n-s full sheet labels and um it's just it's a really thin almost like printer paper sticker it doesn't it's not going to make your planner thick that's why i liked it because it was really thin and it was easier to remove and honestly I didn't have much to compare it to and the print quality is still perfectly fine i mean if you've watched any if you've watched i would say the only one that it wasn't because i couldn't find that sticker paper and i did actually use an online labels one was my like november patreon plan with me um that is not the sticker paper that i use but any of my other like printed um plan with me things i used that yen's full sheet label paper i it's i think it's 10 bucks for 100 sheets on amazon it's not on prime but it still ships pretty fast and i mean perfect wonderful decent adequate acceptable quality uh you know i i bought it for years i loved it it's thin it doesn't make your your planner huge it doesn't feel like it's stuck up real high on the page you know it's great it, it kind of reminds me of happy planner stickers where they're real thin they're not like real thick if that makes sense if you if you're a planner girl and you've been playing with stickers forever you know what i'm talking about um so yeah so that is those are the three sticker papers that i like um so i think that's it i think that's all i wanted to talk about in this long ass video today was just how i'm memory planning in 2020 the supplies i'm using my sticker storage and that's gonna fall supplies i'm using sticker storage how i'm printing my kits i have an old 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 i think it's from at least 2011 it might be 2000 it's probably 2010 H and I didn't inst I didn't use it until I don't even know I didn't use it for a long 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 time probably until we moved up here I bought it came like with in a student bundle with my Mac with the first Mac that I bought so I have an old 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 HP inkjet printer old it's almost 10 years old um old printer and works perfectly I love it printed these it's great I love it um ink Meh, quasi affordable I printed I printed a lot and like high quality and I I only use like one toner one, or one cartridge I don't know I think I think I like my HP printer and like I said I got a brother toner uh, printer laser printer to try foiling so keep a lookout for that um, I think that's all I use a silhouette and a cricket most of the time I use a silhouette but y'all know I am rooting for the cricket people so I play with my cricket all the time to give you guys tutorials and stuff for this um oh there is a free um memory planning ish you can use it for something else if you want type of kit um ooh, my things are falling on my blog and it looks it's I, I use it for valentine's day but it's pretty much just like a feminine style page or planner 
kit. It does not come with the date covers, but I'm gonna have a tutorial um, on how to make date covers like this with the script and the uh, paint swatch in Cricut Design Space. But yeah, I think, and um, I have that tutorial on making uh, the glitter headers. I have a tutorial on scripts. I'm gonna have a tutorial on cutting character stickers on your, or making them and cutting them on your phone. I have a tutorial either coming or it's out, doing the same thing, but with Pixlr. So I'll leave a link to all of that down below in case you guys want it. But yeah, this kit um, with like the full boxes, it's a photo kit um, and the washi is on my blog. I'll leave that link down below. So hope you enjoyed this long video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna see plan with me is I don't think I'm gonna do them because they take so long to do um, so I'm not sure if I will actually do a plan with me in my memory planner maybe I'll do like a maybe once I get up to June done maybe I'll do a six months flip through let me know if you guys want to see that um, so yeah uh, thanks for watching I hope this inspired you maybe to do some go back to the OG planning styles um, if you don't do that maybe you're still maybe you're a happy planner maybe you're a bullet journal person maybe you want to circle back around I don't know so yeah thanks for watching and I will talk to you on my next video see you later bye